Hey everybody, welcome back to the Board Games of the Family. Uh, we're continuing our gameplay run through of Gravwell. We're just about to start round three. Uh, we've done the draft, uh, and this is what the yellow player has ended up with. So let's crack on, shall we? Um, so yellow, <sighs> yellow's got an interesting choice. Now, looking at the position of the players, he knows that if black moves first, he's probably going to play a yellow card and hopefully move this way. So, and black will probably want to play quite early because otherwise he risks yellow messing up and coming back here or red coming to here and therefore black's going to move the wrong way. So he reckons black's going to play an early card. Um, and looking at here, as long as he doesn't have an A or B or a C, he's going to move it, end up moving past, past yellow. So, he, yellow's going to play a late card. He, he could play magnesium. But that's risking it a little bit. He's going to instead play Yttrium. So he's going to put that face down on the board. We'll go to red next. And red, red clearly is it wants to move. He can move any time, really. Unless black has a shocker and moves back here, um, you know, all the way back past here, red's going to move this way. So red can play pretty much whenever he wants, early or late. He's just going to play his highest card, which is that one. And black is going to... So black wants to move quite early. So... He probably wants to move past yellow. And hope that yellow can move past him. Because otherwise, if he moves, to, you know, kind of moves here... And he's got a card that could. I'll be honest. He's got Boron, uh, Boron which can move him to one, two spaces... The problem is, first of all, that can mean the yellow comes back. And secondly, it means that red can move So here somewhere. He doesn't know what card red's playing. So depending on... It's better, I think, if black moves further. And hope that yellow then leapfrogs him. And then basically they can leapfrog it off each other until hopefully black, if black's the right player, comes to the end first. So that's kind of black's tactic. So therefore, black wants to play relatively... Well, not super early, but he wants to play quite high. So he wants to play quite early, but not as early as Boron, because Boron won't move him far enough. So he instead is going to play, but he doesn't want to move too late. So he's going to want to play quite early. He's going to play that one. Okay, and which is Lithium. Oops, not black over. Uh, that's what everyone played. So Lithium moves first, so it's one, two, three, four. Which is handy. Uh, then ra uh, radium moves, so it's nine spaces: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just when yellow thought all was right with the world, red manages to mess him over. How? Because he miscalculated. He didn't realise that that red was going to move that far. He probably could have counted and, and worked that one out, but. So, you might be thinking, well, there's equidistant, and remember, again, the two derelict ships are now behind them. So, he is going to move backwards. And you could think, well, actually, where, where's that going to take us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be the problem. If he moves there, he is going to be stuck by that derelict ship. That will then bounce him here, and then he could be bounced all the way back to here somewhere, eventually. So, really risky, particularly with the hand he's got, but he's going to have to play him his emergency stop and hope something different happens next round. Speaking next round, really what he wants to know, he now he wants to play late. If he plays late enough, hopefully Red would have moved past him, and then he can kind of get back in the race. So he's going to play that card. We'll do black next. So black's way out in front. Um, so he could play... Uh, I'm not going to show you the cards. So black's idea really is hopefully if he plays late enough, both yellow and black... Uh, sorry, both yellow and red will move past him. He can then uh, leapfrog them. So he's going to play that card. And red kind of wants to play early. He wants to play as early as possible to stop you know, the chance that yellow and black might mess up, come back here, and then he gets stuck all the way back. So, he's going to play quite early. Uh, he's going to play that one. 
So he's chosen to play fluorine, 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 I guess. Uh, black's played zirconium, and yellow's played uh, silicon. So red moves first. Six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes yellow happy, because now yellow moves nine spaces forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then black, which, well, yeah, not, black definitely moves forward seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, and I've killed him again. There we go. So, now it's Yellow's turn. So Yellow's got a choice. Yellow could either play this card. That would move him forward two spaces if he plays it early enough. One, two, three, four, five. So, these two cards won't let him win. Although, he could try and play one of these two. Probably Plutonium, if he was going to do this. Try and end up here. And then next round play that one. And try and repel off them and win. That's one thing you could do. Uh, Magnesium would obviously win. And he'd have to hope that Black can play early enough. Or Red can play early enough to get past him. He's going to take a big gamble. Remember, he hasn't got his um, stop card anymore. He's going to play Magnesium. We'll do red next. So red again probably wants to play quite early because he wants to move first before anyone can, can mess him over. And again, yellow knew that. Yellow knew that red would probably try to move first. Um, and then black. Black also wants to move early. Black wants to move ahead of red if he can. The problem is, of cards black's got... Aren't massively helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Black's also going to play a bit of a Hail Mary. Um, Black has played Oxygen, which is seven spaces, which is just enough. That's what I was counting to see if he can win. Um, Iridium and Magnesium. So Iridium moves first. That's six spaces to red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then Magnesium moves first, which is 10 spaces, and it's 10 spaces backwards. And he hasn't got his things, he's going to have to move backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And finally, Oxygen moves, which is going to move this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And Black wins, which just goes to show that in Gravel, even when I know what cards other people are playing, I still can't get my one to win. So, please, again, don't take this as a, this is how you play Gravwell well. This is just how you play Gravwell. Um, and as expected, it kind of finished around three or four. It probably normally finishes around round four, to be honest. Again, this was a lot smoother than it normally is because I kind of, I was trying not to know, but it's, it's really hard not to know when you're playing all hands. So, that is how you play. Um, I'll come back up to my main camera and I'll give my final thoughts and, and just tell you what I think of it, whether it's a game that might be suitable for you. Hopefully you'd already got an idea from, from how that played. Um, but yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts. So I'll see you then.